stringing stories as a freelance journalist in Asia is as good of a cover as any, I guess, to hit the open road. So when they sent me to shoot the killing fields of Cambodia, I thought I was going for the ride, the sweet ephemeral high of the open road. Little did I know at the time how the gods were about to turn that little world upside down. One more. One more. Everybody needs a sidekick, I guess, so the <laughs> gods delivered Ray to me a few years back while I was shooting in Singapore. Pickpockets, all that stuff. Come on, let's go get them. Wherever I do end up, it's going to be one hell of a ride before I get there. Okay, I'm rolling. They want to kill you, huh? they call you, hey, sir, come in here, we have added job for you. Finish. Just like an addict takes a needle, I never could resist the call of the open road. Um, the Khmer Rouge told my mom that um, the Anka um, need first brother. Yeah, we love uh, him and Chia. What was the kind of torture that worked the best? I forced them to eat the shit. It took less than four years for the Khmer Rouge to kill two million people. Millions die in a holocaust and it just becomes fodder for a documentary or something. But the gods will not be mocked. I had to learn that lesson the hard way as my odyssey continued through the killing fields on the last road to Cambodia. Join me, if you dare, on a most uncommon odyssey. Available now on VOD. Alright, let's go. Let's get going. 37 setups a day.